Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. This video is um, an MLM challenge, Midlife Models, PJ. Put it out a challenge for uh, any British Leyland car, make it better or smarter than what it was. And we all know what British Leyland cars were like. And yes, they did have a hand in the Jaguar, XJS and XJ6s. So, we've got this one. It's a non-branded car at all, and it's a pullback. So, we're going to dig this out, and we're going to repaint it, clean it up, and see what we come up with. Okay? Bit of fun, isn't it? Okay, then. we got our tub for our bits. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's a pullback. Let you watch. So, got some crappy top wheels on it, but I think it'll be all right. We'll crane them up and put some black in there. It's got opening doors. Got sun visors, look. No door inserts with this one. There is a bit of black uh, missing. That's a lens missing. I won't be able to replace that. So I might just take that one out and fill the hole in and paint them. We've got that. There's no opening bonnet. Oh, there's an opening boot though. XJS. Nice car. Nice car, but rotten. The saloon version. The small back window. You should leak like mad. And of course, it make all the back seats mouldy and horrible. Uh, they used to rust. Especially around the wings. Wheel arches. Headlights all around there, all around the back arches. Lovely design, but it was actually manufactured in the wrong hands, really. If it's manufactured by a decent car company, then it's nice. The faces model after this was nice, a different backlight configurations, smoother, highly sought after now. Very expensive to buy a convertible one of these, especially a facelift model. Engine sizes, biggest one, V12. You wouldn't want to run that. You really wouldn't want to run that. It cost you a fortune to run that. Uh, especially if you had the pre-HE. They, the, they changed it to a high efficiency engine. But prior to that, the V12 was a gas guzzler. Anyway, enough of that. We need a screwdriver. Small one because this is a screw base, so a couple of screws. Let's see what we got. I've not had this apart, so I haven't got a clue. Yeah, it might all just come apart, man. I ain't got a clue, so we'll have a look, shall we? Open these, not going to be a, a too difficult one to do. Take her off. We'll look at that in a second. There's the interior. We'll change the colour on that, I would say. Just need a damn good clean. Front axles just pop out. And that just comes out as one unit. It works, which is good. It's got tyre tyres on it, so we'll get them off. Whoops. Slicks on this, look. That's that. Get them off the front. They're not that one's just starting to go there, look. So that's all right. <clears throat> there you go, that's that, that's that. Plastic base. Let's have a look in there. Oh, well, the that's just popped out, so I imagine it'll go. In there. Look at that. They didn't, paint, they didn't bother to paint the inside of the boot. Look, lazy buggers. <laughs> it's got to be a British Leyland car, isn't it? They ain't bother to paint the inside of the boot. So you got that. These just lift off. These are chrome plastic. Front and back. 
I'm not sure about this headlight unit. Let's have a look. Whether you can, it all comes out one. Looks like it just, it's a plastic piece. Let's get the headlights out first, pop them out. This is going to be harder than it looks, isn't it? First stumbling block. Right, let's get uh, let's get this out before we break it. Pull that out. That's the steering column. Right hand drive. Left hand drive, sorry. Windy unit. Pop that out. That's in good condition. No cracks, no breaks. So a door springs. Well. Where the bloody hell did that go? Oh no. Oh, flipping heck. That sprung out rather urgently, didn't it? Right, doors fell out. Right, they're out. What else we got? Back plastic cover. Torn on roof cover. Pull that out. Well, I'll spend the next bloody half an hour trying to find that spring there where it went. It went over here somewhere. Can't be far away. At least it didn't go on the floor. God, this is getting some taken off, isn't it? Got it. There we have it. There we have it. Yeah, it's a horrible goldy bronze colour, I'm not sure. We ought to change that. Don't like that at all. Right. Let's just see if it fell in here. We might have been lucky. No. Right, that's all ready for the stripper and, a, and down the sink and have a wash. So we'll get this stripped and we'll uh, polish it up and see what it looks like. In a minute, I'll go and find a spring now. Here we go then. All painted and lacquered and dried now. I'll put the uh, cover back on there. Yeah, nice colour. Very nice. Put the back bumper on because I wanted to work out where the black went because these these early these jags had the black on the outside of the bumper. I haven't put the front one on, just the back one. Got all the bits in there, they're all clean now. So the case of I'm gonna do something with these wheels in a minute, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna put a black in them wheels. Uh and I think we're about ready to reassemble. I've kept the interior the same colour because it goes with this. Alright. So, I'm going to start to reassemble in a minute. So, catch you in a bit. Assembly time. Right, <clears throat> let's get on with this then. I did a few extra details. Done the lights at the back. Done a bit of there. Did a bit of interior detail. Not a lot. Painting the dials in there black. Bit of wood effect on there. Same as on here. Painting the speaker pods at the back. A little bit of wood in there. Not a lot. Not a lot, not a lot. Right, let's put this bad boy back together. I'm going to put the windscreen in. Oh, I've got my spring in. I'm just trying it out. And I've got one door in there. So I didn't lose the spring after all. I did find it. It was right down there, right at the front of me. Ready to go on the floor, but it didn't. So, get windscreen in, because that fits on there. Like so. Well, it did a minute ago. Oh, 
come on. I did it on a second ago. Because <laughs> I've got the camera in front of me. Come on, you're wasting time, boy. That's it. Got the window in. Put a dashboard in. That holds it in place. Like so. There you go. Then we'll throw this other door in. Hopefully. Quite a powerful spring there. Push that back in there. On there. That spring's got to go. Where's my thing? This spring has to go in. This spring has to go in that groove there. So. You are joking me. Oh no. Oh bloody hell. Wait guys. Wait. Found it. God, God for that. Oh I found it. Took me ages to find a bloody thing there. All right, that goes in there, and it hooks round there. All right, that's got them in. Cool. I thought, no, nah, lose that. That would be it. Well, that's them in. Let's have a look at the uh, the boot. God, it's put me off my stride now. That has. Looking for that. Put me off my stride. That, right, that's in. Okay, that's in. Uh, back bumper. That sits in there a lot, so. Yep. Yeah. Front bumper. Shall we put... Oh, I don't know if that's the right way around, hold on. We'll put the... We'll put this in first. Oh, I'm going out of shop. We'll drop that in. We'll put the headlights back in. Come on. That's one. That's two. Hopefully they'll stay in and won't uh, keep flopping out. That's the wrong way around, isn't it, you idiot? Oh, you. This ain't going well today, boys. This is not going well. Now the boot's going to come off again. Now it's got itself stuck in there. Come on out, you bugger. Got the light round the wrong way. That's it, that's both in there now. Right, I'm just going to drop a bit of super duper in there to keep them in place. We don't want them little boys falling out there if we can help it. They're going to because it's not... Uh, Let's just hold it. I should hold it now, lad. All right. Let's send bad boys in. That's in, that's in, that's in. Uh, oh, yeah. 
front bumper. That should click in. You know, so, yeah, cool. I think that goes in that way, is it that way? Yeah, that goes in that way. That goes in there. And this should hold it all down. That should hold it all down, yep. Yeah. Now we're cooking on gas. And hopefully, oh, there's the boot gone. Ha! Boots fell out, boss. The boots fell out, boss. All right, that's okay. Boots back in. With all things being equal, that should. Screw back up. Yeah. So. Umro, numero, screw. One in the back. There you go. Job done. Where she goes. Uh, it's a bit lacking on the old fuel. She's going. Not the best, but it goes. Oh, there you go. It's off. Right. And we've got the boot opening. And the door opening. Uh, two. There you go. Right, let's get it on the magic roundabout. And have a look at it. Yeah, the guy can't afford a petrol. Look, he's in limp home mode. So I don't know what's going on with that. It weren't the best when it started, so I think the cogs are a bit worn. Yeah. Go on, go on, you bugger. It's gone now. Right, get on the. This is what we started with. A non branded XJS convertible. So now we can see what we ended up with. Here we go then. MLM's challenge. British Leyland, take any British Leyland vehicle and make it a bit better. And I think I've done that with this uh, old XJS, which was a horrible gold colour. Not very nice at all. I'll give it a bit more of a period colour with a metallic blue. And I've done some extra details, done the bumpers, blacked them in, uh, blacked in the wheels to make them look more like they should be. Done the windows. Done one or two bits inside. Done the grill. Yeah, it's a left hooker, so it's going to have the, uh, obviously, European. It's going to have the orange lights at the front and uh, left-hand drive. But, yeah, I think that looks quite nice. Very nice indeed. Better than that horrible bloody gold colour. It was disgusting. So this is a no-branded, a non-branded uh, car. But I tell you what, though, it's got a few bits and pieces to it. It's quite well detailed. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's got a pullback. It's a bit worn. I mean, God knows how many years it's been pulling back, but... Yeah. Well, I hope you like this one. And a uh, bit of fun, MLL, PJ. There you go, mate.
So I'll see you on my regular Wednesdays. Take care, best wishes, and bye for now. Bye.